under 3.5 we need to learn something to do with inverse trigonometric functions and uh, we need to understand and use the inverse trigonometric functions which are arc sine uh, arc cos of course arc sine x arc cos x and arc tan x where x represents the angle either in degrees or in radian measure and uh, be able to have their graphs and of course we need to remind ourselves something to do with the inverse function and the inverse function is the function that does the opposite of what the original function had done and we know that um, the domain of an inverse function is actually the range of the original function and in this case uh, in this case, because we are talking about inverse functions, we need to identify the region where the original function was having one-to-one -one, or one-to-one -one mapping was valid. Why do we do this? Because we don't have, we don't have the inverse function of other functions. We only have inverse functions of a one-to-one -one. so if you read on page 62 we are supposed to have sketch the graph of y is equals to sketch the graph of y is equals to arc sine x and there are several steps step number one draw the graph of y is equal to sine x with a restricted domain of negative 90 degrees that is pi over 2 all the way to positive 90 degrees or rather positive pi over 2. Restricting the domain ensures that the inverse function exists since y is equal sine x is a one-to-one -one function for the restricted domain. Only one-to-one -one function has inverse. Now we need to have y is equal to sine x. For what range? Pi over 2 negative all the way to x pi over 2. And the reason why we are having this range is because only within this range that the graph of y is equal to sine x is a one-to-one -one mapping. And only one-to-one -one mapping have inverse function. So if we talk of um, if we talk of negative pi over 2 we have zero, and then you have pi over 2 it is again very important that we have the sign of negative pi over 2 we get negative 1 this is negative 1 we get there the sign of 0 we get 0 the sign of pi over 2 the sign of pi over 2, we get positive 1. So we are going some, we are having something that looks like that. We are having something that looks like this. So if you are supposed now to talk of uh, the inverse function, because this is y is equal to sine x, one thing that this graph should be reflected along the line y is equal to x, because the inverse functions are the graphs after reflecting the original graph along the mirror line y is equals to x. What does that mean? Whatever was the, on the x-axis, it is now, this was 1. It's now reflected to the y-axis. So let's have it here. This becomes pi over 2. And this becomes negative pi over 2. And of course, this becomes a 1, and this becomes a negative 1. So, therefore, uh, 0 will not really change, but you will exactly see if we were to reflect this one along the line y is equals to x, along the line y is equals to x, uh, we should have something that really looks like, that looks that looks like this. 
that looks like that. And that is now the graph of y is equals to arc sine x. Now, if you were to do it in the original uh, setup, then we should have something that looks like that. And that is it. The red one is the graph of y is equals to arc sine x. But of most important, it is important to note that um, um, uh, it is important to note that after you reflect the original graph along the middle line y is equals to x, uh, the domain of arc sine x is from negative 1. The domain of arc sine x is from negative 1 to 1. That was the range of y is equal to sine x. And the range of arc sine x is from negative pi over 2 all the way to positive pi over 2, which was the domain of the original curve. Please note that, remember that the x and y coordinates of points interchange, or they, ra they rather swap when reflecting in y is equal to x. For example, then swap. This particular point, uh, we were having, this particular point was having coordinates, or rather let's just use this one which is already valid as far as this equation, this graph is concerned. This was having the coordinates pi over 2, 1. The same one, in the same position, we can see swap of coordinates x1 pi over 2 in terms of y. So they interchange and that is the essence of the inverse of a function. Uh, uh, if, if, if you would wish now to go on and uh, construct or rather um, or rather sketch the graph of y is equals to arc cos x, y is equals to arc tan x, this is the same kind of procedure but of course learn how to use the only part of the original graph that is obeying one-to-one -one mapping. Probably in my next video, I'll show how to uh, sketch the graph of y is equals to arc cos x together with y is equals to arc tan x. For now, this is the graph of y is equals to arc sine x. All right?